Okay, baby girls, I'm back. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, I sat up under the dryer for about 15, 20 minutes. Now, I'm going to untie my frontal and try to take it off easy. Now, as you guys can see, I only laid it down. Now, I'm going to get to the styling part. So, this is part four. Okay, so we have our water bottle. We have bio silk. Bio silk. Okay. Oh, where is my stoppers? We have our Shea Moisture. Restore the strength and leave in conditioner. We got that. Uh Rat tail comb to make our part. Tresemme, the moose hold. I used this. I also used uh, Kira Care. I couldn't find it, but I used that also because it's much softer. But I use this too. This can work. Whatever mousse that you guys prefer to use. I don't use like a straightening comb just to get it flat. I'll show you guys how I get it flat. Because I was um, under the dryer with my silk scarf, I pretty much uh, kind of laid it down, laid it down. So I kept them in the twist. I do each part, four twists. Okay, I'm going to do the lock method. I got this from Glab's Quarter. Shout outs to Glab's Quarter. You know, girl, I really don't get on camera and show people how to do the lace front. I usually educate my clients with laying the lace front and doing everything that they got to do up under them, under their wigs. But shout out to Glam's Corner. I watch her all the time. She's one of my favorites, licensed beauticians, and also send all out of um, um, Vegas. I love you guys. Because I know that you guys are licensed cosmetologists and you guys pretty much promote natural, uh, uh, great hair up under these. Then you tell them, take them off and get your hair done. <laughs> okay, so first, I'm going to um, untwist the first ones. And then I do twist it at night like this. Um, especially if I'm going to keep the unit on because it keeps that curl pattern in there. And this is, I'm sorry, this is again the Loose Deep Way Brazilian. Um, these are the units that I'm selling for the um, summer, spring. Um, upon request, I do uh, take non-refundable deposits because... When I buy my hair from my vendor, I pretty much expect to sell the unit, make the unit and sell the unit right away and get it shipped to you. Okay, so we got a little, little tangle at the bottom, but we are twisted. So first of all, I do the front first and I kind of finger comb it so it won't be too tangled when I start to style it in the front. Like I said, I got this um, lock method from uh, Glam's Corner. Y'all go check her out on YouTube and her Instagram and her Snapchat and her Facebook. So what I do first is just wet all the hair. Give it some liquid. She needs some liquid. Take your water bottle. And as you can see, I don't have any um, conditioner in the water. I think that too much of anything is too much. And for me, and when I style my units for my um, baby girls, I, um, I want them to be as light as possible. So, they won't have that, that look. This is pretty, pretty. I love this hair. It's so pretty. So, 
first I start by brushing it. Now you see I'm brushing it away from my hairline and then this is where I come in and put in my sideburns. And as you can see, I don't cut my sideburns, but most of my clients want them cut. And then we just tuck that back there and just brush it. I don't um, pretty much cut mine because I like to wear it in an updo and sometimes have long sideburns or I put it in a ponytail in the back and wear it down. And as you can see, just wet her down. And then we're gonna do the other side the same way. And then brush her. So I brush so I can see if my hairline is laying down and so I could take my sideburns out and then I just tuck the rest in back of my ear as so. Just like that. Okay, so once she's all combed out like this, then I take, and as Glam Corner says, just take a little bit of your leave-in conditioner, no matter what it is. She used Cantu. I really don't like Cantu on this hair or on any type of hair. I think it's too heavy, but the Shea Moisture to me is lighter. So just take a dime size, put it in your head, and go through the hair. And as you can see, I've already plucked it to my specifications, how I want my hairline to be. I don't do baby hairs. I'm too old. I'm 50 or something years old. That ain't cool for me. I don't think I do all of that because I don't be doing all that. So... I'm taking another dime size, finger size, dime size. I do the other side. Now, a, a lot of YouTubers, they, they press this hair. I don't put heat onto curly hair because I don't want a curl pattern to be like too um, straight. That's why you got curls in it. That's why there is a curl pattern. So now y'all see me doing my part. And I might, the knots on this, I bleached it really nice. But I might just take, and like I always do, take my LA Girl concealer and go up in it. <coughs> okay, so now that we put the lock, the cream in it, and you can see this curl pattern is so pretty, and look, it is so shiny. I love ordering from this vendor for my clients and for myself. Haven't had any problems with the customer service. Now, the only reason I don't endorse and put the name of my vendors on here is because I do sell this hair. Now, if I was endorsing this hair or sponsorship of this hair, I would probably do it because they would have to pay me, but I don't do it because they're not paying me. I'm paying them for the hair. Then, the, um, the C, the lock method, is with this silk treatment by BioSilk. And all you have to do is really use about this much. And then first I start at the top because I want it to have that shine and it doesn't lift up the lace. So that's a good thing of it. And I try to do like this to give me some texture at the top. Take my dime size and then put it 
on the front here. Okay. Too much is too much, guys. Don't put too much. Okay. And then for the finishing touches, just because I want that wet look, I want it to be not big hair. Then I go in with my Tresemme number four mousse or my Care Care uh, mousse. Nah, not that much. Just a palm size. And then I go all through the hair. So it'll still have that uh, wet look. Won't be too crunchy, won't be too wet. And then at this point, um, this is when you would do the front part with your flip overs. You would kind of flip it over. If you want to flip over like this. You can flip it over the other side if you want. Or, if you want, this is where you you get it when it's like uh, stylable like this. And like I said, I like to do my sideburns long, keep them long. Because when I do my, um, my half up, half down ponytails or put it in a bun, I like it all to be like this. And then I could do it like this. Ooh, ooh, got a little tight on y'all. Okay. So this is how I style the front. Okay. All right, guys. This is going to be the end of my video. Like I said, I am a wig maker. I am a licensed cosmetologist. I do all types of hair and I'm getting just a rubber band to show you guys how I do it sometimes when I'm running all around and stuff and if I have some issues where it's too shiny I just get my um, Anastasia palette oh. I get my Anastasia palette and I use the chocolate I use the chocolate to go over my shiny parts. And then if I have any glue that's showing in here, I'll go over it with my, um, with the alcohol. Just dabs, not too much because this lace will lift up. But as you see, I'm only going to do the front, but the back is the same thing. You just do your untwists and liquid then the um cream and then the oil and then set it with your mousse whichever ones that you prefer to use so um this is 28 inches of the loose deep wave uh brazilian reamy hair uh virgin virgin reamy hair and i'm loving it i'm loving it I've had this unit for about a month now, and closure still looking beautiful, hair still looking beautiful, still acted like it want to act, and this is my vendor that I'm using here by Edie. You guys show up, show out, show me some love, like, subscribe, comment, tell me some things that I need to do, show me some things that you would like me to do, and I can uh, pretty much contribute something to the YouTube hair, black hair community. So you guys come back, keep watching. I got a video coming out too on how to replace your frontals. If the frontal light sheds or it's going bald, I got a video coming out for that too. You guys, God bless. Enjoy your blessed life, your blessed day, and come back and see me. Bye.